Hello everyone, I am Betts Golden. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to make a quick card with you. I'm hoping this will be under 15 minutes using the Snazzy Snowman by Simon Hurley. I'm gonna try not to stop the video at any point and just ram on through and just for the fun of it, see if we can do it. I'm gonna start off first with this little snowman hat and we're just gonna do some fun layering in which I get lazy and I cheat. I'm going to be using the Midnight Snack ink pad right here. Go on over, pop this over. Pretty good, gonna do it one more time. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, I certainly hope that you consider doing so. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified of when I have a new video coming out. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll make sure that I do my best to get back to you. If I don't know the answer, I will try to find it. And if you like this video, please like it and share. It definitely helps me out and keep my channel free when YouTube thinks that I'm growing. Plus I like to grow. All right, so now I'm gonna lay down this cute Cute little snowman. I'm going to get it lined up and for this little guy I am not going to ink up the top of his head. So I am going to, looks like I need to tape off right above his eye and so I have my little tape right here. And I'm just going to mask it off. And I can even take my tape and just to be on the safe side, mask it off over here as well. This way I know that I won't stamp where I don't want to stamp. All right, I'm doubly protected there. All right, so just take this little dude, ink him up as well. Remove that tape, boom, oops, I slapped that down really quickly. And then let's see, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that again, that's okay. I'm gonna put this tape back down again. And get up one more time. These are fresh out of the, um, the, the packaging, so I haven't seasoned my stamp, which really isn't that big of a deal. Voila, I like that, I think that looks great. Okay, and so from here, I can just remove that tape. I got a cute little guy with his hat on, but I'm not done yet. I wanna go ahead and put a scarf on him too. And so for the scarf, I'm going to use Game Over. So I'm gonna take this little scarf and just layer it on. I believe it helps if I put it on the right way. Nope, I had it on the right way. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> I'm wrong. This scarf goes with that little dude. So I am going to put some buttons on him. Or her. We don't know what we got here. And I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna go back to that midnight snack for this one. So real quick, I wanna show you. So this one goes directly in there. So that's really cool. All right. And then let's take, pick up this. And we're just gonna pop this down like so. One more time for good measure. All right. And then from here, let me see if, if I wanted to, I'm thinking I could put that right there and have them hold it, but I don't want to because I want to try to do this card fast. So I am going to take 
These colored pencils, some of them are from Tonic, three of them are from Tonic, one is from Jane Davenport. Jane Davenport's is the black one, so I'm just going to color it in. The reason why I'm not using a marker is because the dye ink is, it is water reactive, so it could smear, and I don't wanna do that, and I'm, I'm trying to go a little bit fast, so I'm not really paying so much attention to how, um, like the shading and stuff, it's gonna get the gist. I love doing this with snowmen because you can, um, you don't have to color match because they're like, they're the color of snow, which is, you know, white. I am by no means an expert at the coloring game. As you can tell, you're like, girl, I can see that honey. Go back to stamping and painting. And the, the pa the paper that I'm using is really not that great of a paper. It's a drawing paper, which is absolutely perfect for this because um, it has a little bit of a tooth to it, so it will do well with with these um, colored pencils. Sometimes, if you have a piece of paper that does not have any tooth to it your color can't grip on when it's a colored pencil and so it slides everywhere. And then I think I will just color in those little arms, give a little bit of color right to those. And then put his little nose. This is a tonic color. And I have to tell you that all these marker, all these um, colored pencils work great. I like them. So they're all good. Tonic, Jane Davenport. They work great. Love it. All right. So from here, I'm going to take, remove this out of here and I'm going to start to assemble my card. Don't worry. I have something going on in the bottom right over there. Um, I took this piece of paper and I cut it down. So it's the same size as this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loosely cut some snow and he's going to be kind of in the snow like that um, and I can always cut a little bit more down because I want a little bit more of him showing and if I cut too much off it's okay I can just layer more on yeah I like that and then I can actually take let me see can I take this side over here and maybe do that one up like that, that one like that, just to give it some, yeah, there we go. All right, so from here, I'm going to take my Midnight Ink once again. I'm gonna ink the edges on this. Really, sometimes it's just easier to go around like so. And then for this one, same thing. I'm just going to ink, but I'm going to add a little bit of glitter just to make it a little bit special. And when I do that, it might pull some of this ink through, which I'm okay with because it'll give some more shadowing and depth. All right. So I'm not doing like a ton of inking, just enough to give some definition. And I'm going to take my, I always say I'm losing it and it's right in front of my face, Art Glitter Girl Lou. And I'm just going to put this down because I want to slip that into the back, but I want to adhere this before I hear it to my card and do the next couple steps just because I want to make sure that it measures up absolutely perfectly and it does. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to slip this into the back. And I really need to just make sure that I get it down 
like so. And then I'm gonna clip that edge because we don't need it, right? They don't have to be there, so. I know, and you're like, those scissors are freaking huge with what you're doing. I know, I love them. I got these on sale at Tonic. They're spring and cut. They're my very favorite scissors. I'll have to see if I can find them in the link below because <laughs> they're fabulous. All right, so I'm ready to, now I was thinking, this is when I want to think, do I want to add a sentiment to this or not? Because to the front or do I want to do it inside the card? And I definitely have enough room up there on top. Um, and so I could do there's nobody like you. I don't want to do anything down here because I'm going to use some stuff down there already. And so I'm thinking um, that there's nobody like you is really cute. And so for this one, I can just take this back, pop it in like so line it up on the top. And I'm just gonna stick to this midnight snack color. Let me do it one more time. Uh, probably another time, I need to get the there. Perfect. Ooh, that's beautiful. I love that coloring. So pretty. All right. And now I'm going to adhere it to the front of my card and then get my snow done. I just cut down a eight and a half by 11 piece of card stock. I cut it in half and that gives me the perfect A2 card size. And I really like this wintry feel. Sometimes it's nice to have cards that go out in January um, that are not Christmas. So it's nice to have, I love the snow cards, especially since I don't live in the snow. So it's like, oh, I can appreciate it. Have fun with it, but not have to, to live in it. <laughs> I'm not a snow fan. I don't do well on it. I slide around. I like to look at it out the window with the, uh, like some coffee in my hand and a good book. That's heaven. All right, so this one's gonna go on the front like so. Always put your cards together open. That way um, you won't, you'll, you'll get better placement. So I have some of this Stickles Moon Dust and I thought it would be fun to take a little bit of this and put it on the bottom. Now, since this is going to be reactive with anything that's wet or it could be, um, that's why I was okay, because it might pull it down, which is okay. And if it doesn't, you know, it's okay too. So I'm just gonna do a layer of this and this is um, the Stickles Glitter Gel in Moon Dust. It's so pretty, I just love it. And I'm just kind of painting it on with my spatula, like so. And this is what is gonna set your card apart and make it look like, you know, you took a long time on it when you didn't. I love snowman cards. They're so easy. All right, almost done here. All right, so there you go. How cute is that? <laughs> how cute is that? And how long did it take us to do? <gasps> Under 15 minutes. Woo! Oh my God, I'm so excited. That was my goal, y'all. Under 15. Yes, 14, 16 to be exact. Okay, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'm Bets Golden. Happy crafting.